After open heart surgery, patients generally follow strict precautions that prohibit lifting and pushing with the arms. Known as sternal precautions, these restrictions are not evidence-based, limit function, and diminish quality of life. These limitations also increase the likelihood that patients must enter post-acute care facilities to recover. Memorial Healthcare System in South Florida launched Keep Your Move in the Tube, a mindful movement program that replaces the strict load and time restrictions of traditional sternal precautions following cardiac surgery. We knew when we changed to keep your move in the tube that we were going to be able to let these patients do all of these things that they wanted to do. It's just a matter of modifying your movements. The program focuses on allowing freedom of movement. With arms close to the body, patients can reach outward as they are able, limited only by any changes in pain. Hoping to increase the percentage of patients discharged directly home without post-acute care, the team developed multilingual education materials for patients and families. They also customized interventions to target patients' self-identified goals, like going fishing or holding their baby. Well, we kind of find out what that specific patient, uh, what their goals and their needs are, and we try to tailor their, their treatment plan based on that and we role play with them there, mimicking these activities and using various weights at various vectors and planes to help simulate the activity. So therefore, when they leave, they're gonna be safe and they're gonna thrive. Before implementing Keep Your Move in the Tube, 42% of cardiac surgery patients were discharged directly home and 58% were discharged to a secondary facility. In the year and a half following implementation, 86% of cardiac surgery patients were discharged directly home and 14% were discharged to a secondary facility. This started out with frustration um, on the part of the therapist. They knew that they could make their patients more independent. They were telling me stories of, of elderly patients who had to go to nursing homes because they couldn't use their arms to push up from a chair. And as soon as we rolled this out, um, they were coming back with stories of independence and people going home and patients able to get up and move. And it was just completely inspiring and so immediately rewarding. What's the big thing about this philosophy? The big thing about this philosophy is we are helping people to get plugged back into their life as quickly as possible. 